So we run a program for pregnant and postpartum women with opiate use disorder. So pregnant women who have an addiction to pain medications, whether that be street drugs, heroin, or even prescription pills. We started a program to help them. Um, they can also have an addiction to other medica other substances, such as alcohol, marijuana, methamphetamines. It doesn't have to be directly opiates, but the majority of our patients are addicted to opioids. In the program, we accept any woman who is currently pregnant or up to three months after they deliver, so up to three months postpartum, and they can be in our program up to one year postpartum. The program focuses on identifying not only substance use disorders and addressing those, but also identifying any mental illness that is happening, so depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, um, and we also recognize those and treat that as appropriate. Patients in the program get not only medication management if they need it with a psychiatrist, a physician, but they also get group therapy. And that is a very valuable um, part of the program because the women are a lot of peer support in the program with other women who are pregnant or postpartum going through the same things. We also have individual therapy available if needed. And we also have a peer support specialist who's been instrumental in our program as well. And she's available 24 seven for these women to call if they're in crisis or they're feeling like using um, the part, you know, it was funny. I used to think, of course, that I was providing the great service to the patients, but if we actually talk to the patients, they'll tell you that group and that support that they get from the other women in the program, as well as the peer support specialist is the most valuable part of the program. Um, we work alongside UAMS OB here, but we do have patients who come to our program that do not get their obstetrical care or their care for their pregnancy at UAMS. We have patients that come from outside of Little Rock. Um, they come from all over the state. If they want to get care, we will work with their OB. We do also provide some telemedicine services. So if a woman says living in Fort Smith or Fayetteville, and that is too hard to drive all the way down to UAMS once a week, we do offer services through the telemedicine, which is kind of like FaceTiming with your doctor, um, and but they'll get the therapy services there locally, and we provide the medication services through telemedicine. Um, and right now we're doing that with two programs. Most of them are through Fort Smith. If you're in, if you live somewhere else in the state though, and you want to get and you're pregnant and you don't know where to go, if you simply call us, we will try to find somewhere locally, or you're more than welcome to come to our program here.